In this video, we'll learn how to use conditionals in Python. So by the end of this video, you should be able to author Python programs which use conditionals. Let's think back to this loop example, where we use the range function to help us print the even values between 0 and 9. Let's see how we could have done this using conditionals. What do you think I should put here to make it print just the even values? Take a moment and think about it. Okay, to solve this, you may need to use modulo, which you may or may not be that familiar with. Modulo produces the remainder of a division of two integers. Given what you know about modulo, pause the video, take a moment to think about what you should put into this missing line of code, and then resume. I hope your answer was something like this. If you want to know if a value is even, you just test to see if the remainder from dividing that value by, a zero, by 2 is 0. Let's look now at the parts of that if statement in Python in detail. The keyword for the conditional, if, starts the line, and it, that's the one in blue. i modulo 2 equals 0 in green is the condition which resolves to a boolean either true or false. And the colon in orange says to execute the statements indented after this line should that condition be true. Let's try solving another question. Suppose I want the output to be the output on the left, 0, 11, 2, 13, and 4. Effectively, we're printing the even values between 0 and 4, and we're printing the odd values plus 10. To solve this, you'll need to add an else statement. But take a moment, again, pause the video, think about what you want to put here, and then resume. Here's the else statement we need to add. Notice that else is followed by a colon, and everything after the else which is indented will be executed if the if condition is false. Let's do one more of these. Now we're testing if i modulo 3 is 0. Notice the new if statement in blue. If i mod modulo 3 isn't 0, we next test to see if it's equal to 1 using else if. Notice that else if from other languages translates to ELIF in Python. You should have the tools to use if, else if, or else in your Python programs now. Our next lesson is on writing functions. We'll see you soon.